Another day, another price smash in gold and silver, right? Wrong. Today was actually some of the best technical movement I've ever seen in precious metals, and it has me more bullish than ever about gold and silver. Now, at one point this morning, the price of silver was down well over a dollar per troy ounce. The price of gold was down all the way below 1890, and it was looking very much like your typical bullion bank price smash crooked manipulation at the comments. But then I saw that big, beautiful reversal, and there's a couple of things in the charts that have me very bullish on precious metals right now. And now it is time to shrink my big, fat melon of a head, and let's take a look at this silver chart first, and this is just the prettiest chart I have seen in a long time. Now, we've got these ascending purple lines here that I drew last week. That was that upward price channel that I had been previously talking about, and you can see we broke below that channel today. And while that was certainly very discouraging for me this morning, what I saw a few minutes later just made my day. And what I'm talking about here is I'm pointing to this blue circle here. It shows how we came down and just so gently touched that 200-day moving average. And man, did we bounce off of that with a vengeance. After touching that all-important 200-day moving average, silver just made a complete 180 and went higher and higher and higher throughout the day closing almost in positive territory for the day. And what we're left with is this beautiful looking candle that very much resembles a hammer pattern. Not quite. If we would have closed in positive territory, it would have been a hammer pattern. But this tells me that the market today absolutely rejected these lower prices. As soon as we came down and touched that 200 day moving average, the traders came in and bought up silver with conviction. And I just point out that back here in this red circle, that is that beautiful golden cross that we made just a few days ago where the 50-day moving average crossed above the 200-day moving average. Now, I just want to zoom out and show you a couple of other key dates on this chart. First, here is where we first broke below that 200-day moving average back in last summer in July of 2021. We came down, and then we rallied back, and we retested, but we failed to break back above that 200-day line, and that was a signal that we were heading much lower from there, and lower we went, significantly so. Our next attempt to break out above the 200-day moving average came in November of last year. Again, we failed to break above it, another sign that we were heading lower and lower we went. And then more recently, you guys may remember back in January, after some mysterious silver whale came in and bought hundreds of millions of dollars worth of silver in a single day, the price rallied. And I did a video that day and I cautioned everybody to say, I'm not buying silver. I'm not going to be bullish until I see us move above that 200-day moving average and stay there. Well, we failed to stay above that 200-day moving average, and again, down we went. Now, we next broke above the 200-day line in February, and we started to move higher, and that's when I drew this channel that we were in, looking like we were heading higher and higher. Well, we broke down below that channel today, and the bullion banks came in with their typical stupid game, smashing the price down, but again, when you zoom in, we only came down to that 200-day moving average, and then the market stepped in and said, uh-uh, we're not having it, and up went silver. So that was an incredibly bullish move. The market very strenuously rejected those lower prices today. That tells me silver is heading higher. So we've broken above that 200-day moving average, and then today we came down and retested, and the market rejected that level. We're going higher. This 200-day moving average has now switched from a strong ceiling of resistance to a strong floor of support. And again, I just want to draw your attention to that beautiful golden cross that we just saw a few days ago. And I want to zoom out again on the chart to the last time we saw a golden cross like that. And you have to go all the way back here to July 1st, 2020. That was the last time we had one of those beautiful golden crosses. And just look at what the price of silver did after July 1st of 2020. We went from about $12 an ounce all the way up to that all important $30 level. That happened in a span of about a month and a half. So right now, where we're at with the successful retest of that 200-day moving average following a golden cross, with all the inflation story and a CPI read coming up in a couple of weeks that is going to blow people's minds, I see an incredibly bullish technical setup for silver here. And looking over at gold, we see a similar setup. Now, while we don't have the big 200-day moving average in gold, today we had this big move lower where we just broke a little bit below the 50-day moving average. And again, the market came in and said, uh-uh, we are rejecting that level. And gold traded higher for the rest of the day. Again, just stopping just short of positive for the day. A very, very bullish move for gold. Now, beyond all of the technical setup in the charts, there was actually a very good reason unrelated to the charts that explains why precious metals made that 180 this morning. 
But that is a topic for a whole other video. You're going to have to wait until tomorrow for that one. And it's big, folks. There is something very, very big happening in precious metals right now, and you're not going to want to miss that video tomorrow. And if you want a little hint, you can go back to this video I did a couple of days ago. Until then, live small and dream big.